Good evening. Today I'd like to discuss why savings equals investment. This lecture is dedicated to a former student who made me think a lot about this subject and I've never forgotten all that he's contributed to me. If you know a lot about exchange rates, you can skip this part of the lecture. Let's say that somebody in the United States wants to buy some anime cartoons from Japan. So that means then that they will demand more yen and then they will supply more dollars in order to buy their anime cartoon. Suppose that somebody in the United States wants to buy a Japanese bonds because interest rates are there are higher than they are in the United States. They will demand yen and they will supply dollars. So they will demand yen when they want to buy Japanese uh, exports or imports to the United States and they will demand yen when they want to buy like foreign capital like you know their bond or whatever from Japan. The same is true in Japan. When uh, somebody in Japan wants to buy a United States baseball ticket they will demand dollars and then they will supply yen. Likewise if the inflation rate is higher in Japan than it is in the United States maybe they'll buy uh, they'll demand um, United States currency and supply Japanese uh, yen to buy that good or asset. Let's start then with a fundamental identity that GDP equals consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports. For this part of the lecture I'm only going to deal with this part of it. It is very common that the trade deficit has been negative for the United States for a long time. In other words, exports have been greater than imports. So let's calculate um, the trade deficit. The demand for yen will equal the imports from Japan, stuff that we want to buy from Japan, plus the purchases of Japanese capital like their bonds. The supply of yen then will be what we export to Japan and whatever they buy of our capital. Let's supply, let's set demand equal to supply and rewrite the equation again. Imports from Japan plus the purchase of Japanese capital equals the exports to Japan plus the purchase of U.S. capital. I'm going to balance the equation by subtracting imports and purchases of U.S. capital from each side. And what I'm left with is the purchase of Japanese capital minus the purchase of USA capital on this side or the two capitals on both sides. And I'm left with exports minus imports on this side. If you look at that equation then, exports minus imports would be the trade deficit if I is greater than E. I have compared the purchases of Japanese capital, which we buy, to the purchases of U.S. capital, which Japan buys, and the difference is something they call net capital inflow, which means that if the trade deficit is 3, or negative 3, we had to get three dollars from someplace else to finance that three dollars since we spent more than we made in GDP. And so this is an accounting equation that shows that our debits must equal our credits on the balance of payments. And this is a fundamental identity that I think is needed to show that savings equals investment. And I'll work on that on the next video.